I recently received a notice in the mail from the state of Texas that my annual registration is due on my van. Interesting thing about this one is they informed me that I've been here for seven years now and I have to get a new license plate. I didn't realize I'd been in Texas that long. Got me to thinking, am I really a Texan now? I think I really am. Becoming a Texan is something that takes time. It's not something that grows on you. No, this is something that's baked into you. One 100 degree day at a time. Yes, those two looks at that same thermometer were taken on two consecutive days. That's Texas for you. That's what makes a Texan. There are certain indications to know when somebody is a Texan. I'm fixing to tell y'all when you're a Texan. The first indication is when you use the words fixin' and y'all in the same sentence correctly. That's when you know you're a Texan. Another indication is when you run on days over 100 degrees because you know if you wait for cooler weather, you're going to be way out of shape and you're going to have to start all over again. So you go out and run over 100 degrees. That's when you know you're a Texan. Another indication that you're a Texan is when somebody mentions barbecue, the first thing you think of is a major food group, not a way to prepare a meal. That's when you know you're a Texan. Another indication that you're a true Texan is when you watch the national news and they talk about the Ten Commandments being taken down from a public place and you think that's such a foreign concept, you know you must live somewhere different. That's when you know you're a Texan. We actually have people from different states come to Texas to try to get our public school cheerleaders to take Bible verse references off of banners that they make. That's how Texas is different from most of the rest of the country. That's why a lot of people consider the Dallas area to be the buckle of the American Bible Belt. See, we still believe that strongly in serving the one true God here in Texas. Which begs the question, how does somebody know whether someone's a true born-again Christian? There are indications for that, too. One indication is when you read the Bible or you hear it read, and it actually makes sense to you, that's a pretty good indication you're a born-again Christian. Another indication is when you read the same section in the Bible and something different jumps off the page at you. That's a pretty good indication you're a born-again Christian. Another indication you're a born-again Christian is when you hear of a disaster somewhere in the world and your first instinct is to pray to God to bring relief to the people there. That's a good indication you're a born-again Christian. Another great indication you're a born-again Christian is you actually look forward to death because you believe so strongly in what the Bible says about heaven, you're homesick to be there. But you also know that you have a purpose to be on this planet because you also have a drive to introduce other people to Jesus. That's a good indication you're a born-again Christian. That's what keeps me going in my writing. And that's what keeps me making these videos. Because I want to introduce as many people to Jesus as possible. I'll see you later.